It was semi-finals day on Saturday at the Qatar Total Open and there were four players bidding to make their first ever Doha final. First out on court was Germany's Angelique Kerber against former world number one Jelena Jankovic. And it was the world number nine who got off to the stronger start, breaking in the second game to go two love ahead. Yeah. Like uh, Radvanska, she likes to squat Kabel. down to play the shots. So. She consolidated her break in the next game and looked in excellent touch as she raced into a four-love lead. Brilliant, yeah. absolutely superb. Yeah. Didn't take much of a take back there, just used that top hand to control the ball and draw it across Jankovic's body. And it wasn't long before she wrapped up the first set, 6-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've got to be so disciplined. Yeah, yeah. You won't a won't top yet. class player. At the most of your advantage. Uh, she got there on the ends. Jankovic had reached the semi-finals twice before and was bidding to go one better today. However, her opponent was simply not giving an inch. believe it <laughs> what tennis from Kerber and Jankovic can't believe it she couldn't have played that point any better absolutely sensational stuff from the German the Serbian did her best to keep the match alive by forcing a tie break okay. depth on the return Jankovic. But Kerber was able to come out on top 6 1 7 6 and is still yet to drop a set. Oh, can you believe it? Yeah, it's a good match. Kerber. She did show great six, hearts seven. through much of that second six, set seven, and perhaps six. needed that little bit of luck to finally crawl over the finish line. Um, yeah, in the tiebreak I was just, I think, a little bit more lucky and also the match ball was actually luck, but I'm just happy that I won it at the end in two sets. Next up and playing for a place in the final was Simona Halep and Poland's Agnieszka Radvanska. It was the second seed Radvanska who looked to take control early on. This winner helping her into a 4-2 lead. It's all about anticipation, isn't it? The reason she wins that rally. But then at 5 3 and serving for the set, her opponent began a remarkable comeback. It's a poor game from Radvanska. One of the worst of the week, without a shadow of a doubt. The young Romanian who'd taken down Sara Irani in the quarterfinals continued where she'd left off with a great mixture of power and touch. Oh yes, exquisite tennis. Halep took her fifth game in a row to wrap up the set 7-5. Good set of tennis. It looked for all the world like Radvanska was going to win it pretty comfortably in the end. It was Halep who was able to seal the deal. The second set was far more one-sided with some more blistering hitting from the world number 10. Sweetly timed return. Hit aggressively, but to a safe target. And it was yet another winner that finished things off for Halep. She's done it. What a fantastic performance that was. She'll now go on to face Germany's Angelique Kerber in Sunday's final, looking to win her first tournament of 2014. It will be difficult uh, to reach the final because she's a good player, but uh, I am better, I feel better now because I have already six finals uh, from last year. So I am going uh, happy on court and uh, just to try my best because it's a good challenge for me and uh, I will uh, look forward to get my chance.